So both pipe, both Nord Stream One and Nord Stream Two. Oh, were, both of them got bombed. <clears throat> yeah, there were explosions. Holy shit! Both Nord Stream One and Nord Stream Two are made up of two pipelines. Mm-hmm. So it's four total pipelines. I think one of the pipelines in Nord Stream Two is still operational. Got it. And they're and in, now, under the Baltic Sea. <clears throat> yep. And now there's a whole. Uh, and this is it carries it carries natural gas from Russia to Germany. Right. And now there it's a big who done it. During this time with all the geopolitical shit that's going on, it's obvious that it was deliberate. And there's a lot of speculation that it was us, that it was America. There's also a lot of speculation that it was Russia. Tucker Carlson had a big long segment saying, I don't know who did this. Was it Russia? Yeah. Well, because Tucker Carlson's whole thing, wormy piece of shit, Tucker Carlson. Let's just listen to a second of this so I can refresh or get it primed because I can do an impression of him, I think. (laughs) If you are Vladimir Putin, you would have to be a suicidal moron to blow up your own energy pipelines. That's the one thing you would never do. Natural gas pipelines are the main source of your power and your wealth, and most critically, your leverage over other countries. So who really did it? Who? Wait, uh, give me, I, I, Tucker Carlson would have to be... So, Tucker, we've invited you on today to uh, talk about the Nord Stream 2. No, 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 something more, way Jesus more trivial, because normally he's so... <laughs> grimace. He used to be the guy who would try to steal your milkshakes. But now, the liberals want to make him the guy who <laughs> I like when he who gets... encourages trans teens to transition. <laughs> I like when he gets mad that he no longer wants to fuck fictional characters. Oh, yeah. Grimace used to be fuckable. Grimace used to be fuckable. One might even call him thick. <laughs> now, not so much. <laughs> Because of the woke? Wokeism has even infected our precious fast food characters. Look at him now. He's unfuckable. You wouldn't... (laughs) Because of our fat is beautiful culture, we have rounded out Grimace. Grimace used to sport a very attractive rack. (laughs) (laughs) But thanks to the Kim Kardashianism of everything in media now, Grimace is only. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Grimace is just, I don't know, bottom heavy? <laughs> Grimace used to have a visible bulge. <laughs> <laughs> arguably, <laughs> arguably one of the most masculine characters in the entire McDonald Land lore. <laughs> that is a, <laughs> he looks like he's getting sucked off uh, no he's pouring coffee on himself <laughs> have you ever seen the um hey uh luke can you please google what's the matter or craving my mcnuggies damn grimace did used to be fuckable oh yeah look at that it's talk a, about caked up for the audio listener it is a very caked up fuckable looking tucker carlson would lose his mind at this you could tell him that this is real and he'd believe it so now mcdonald's wants us to believe that grimace is fuckable and has a thick ass. But who would want to fuck this? <laughs> uh, I don't know what, what this is or where I'm going. Uh, but so You just I, wanted to prove that you could do Tucker Carlson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think um, well, I wanted to do there's a, no one out there who can say that you can do it. Yeah, n- nobody. It's very easy. You just have to sound like you're. All right, what were you going to say about uh, the pipe? Well, I think that it was Russia. I think that. <laughs> I think I think that it could have been America, but I think that I actually don't know. I'm on the fence. I, I was going to say, could, uh, I uh, well, neither of us have any idea. No one has right. any idea. The CIA probably knows, but uh, if if people are telling you they know, they're lying. We can all speculate. Honestly, you know me. You think it was America? Yeah. Yeah. Part of the speculation of why it was America was because if it was still there in place, intact, and and winter comes and Germany is just absolutely suffering and they say, mercy, turn it back on, please, and Russia says, okay, stop supporting Ukraine, they could say, okay, sure. America would effectively force Europe to stay in the fight by removing that factor altogether. That's I believe that was what Tucker dipshit was saying but who knows baby it's gone it blew up <clears throat> the 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 thing about it is it's it's very scary it, the, yeah. you know it's starting to feel a lot like we're living through history and that's never fun i mean technically that's like saying every photo of you is you when you're younger like yeah that's we're right. always living through history i'm kind of referencing that you know that quote where it's like there's 
Yeah. May you live through interesting times or whatever? No. Why well, say yes? If you... <laughs> because I thought I knew, dude. <laughs> it's like if there's there's 10 years go by that feels like nothing happens and mm-hmm. then there's, you know, 10 minutes that go by where everything feels like you get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I totally follow what you're saying. But it feels like it's between markets crashing everywhere, ec- ec- like economies turning upside down everywhere, uh, potential nuclear war between the two biggest nuclear powers. And I um, don't think it's going to happen. An entire continent may be uh, freezing to death over the winter. Yeah. Europe is obviously going to get the most coverage, but uh, there's a ton of countries where all of this, who are going to have a huge problem importing energy, right? Yeah. And uh, it's only going to get more and more expensive. It's not going to be good. I mean, Uh, and not only that, so you're also seeing... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just took a breath. Go ahead. We're also seeing what? You're seeing, you know, political unrest in these countries too, right? You know, Italy just elected... uh, Fuck. What's her name? Georgia Maloney. Spaghetti. Yeah. Georgia Spaghetti. You know, a bit of a... Has some fascist roots. I don't know anything about her, so I'm keeping... I, I just saw what she said in response to Macron this morning. What did she say to Macron? She Well, because Macron said a bunch of nasty things about Italians or something. Like what? Like that Like word? Seriously, he's... I'm going to be pissed. Tell me. He said a bunch of... <laughs> He said that you smell like marinara sauce. I'll give him that. Yeah. But no, he, he My did. My fingers always smell like garlic. He said some things about Italians, and this woman responded and called out France. And I was scrubbing through it, but one of the things she calls out is their exploitation of Africa and the mines and stuff and saying that they, they import 30% of their uranium from Africa. Meanwhile, 90% of the people in that country that they export it from doesn't even have power and just calling them out and basically saying, you guys yeah. are hypocrites. What the fuck? But anyway. Oh, I mean, that's if, well, and that's the problem, right? It's, uh, you know, the, the neoliberal class that has ascended and, and ruled for decades now has, uh, they're very easy to critique, right? Yeah. It's like what I was saying before. The, they make, th- these problems are very easy to diagnose and it's very easy to get people behind you when you can diagnose the problems. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, you don't necessarily have to have the best solution. You just, yeah. you just get people pissed off. Yeah. And that's what's happening. You know, the energy crisis all across Europe, it's fucking so expensive. You know, housing prices are going to go up. Um, it's, I was reading in, in the UK, it's different than here with, you know how you get like a fixed 30. Well, they drive on the other side. <laughs> Dude, you got to be careful with how hard you slam this table. You don't know your own strength. You got grimace strength and you don't even know it. <laughs> 